Okay, this is activity W1T2, and uh, we are supposed to make that very simple part. Notice that the dimensions are indicated to be in millimeters. Uh, therefore, let's go ahead and start the part file, file, new, part. And immediately I change the name here to uh, W1P2. Okay, W1P2. And right away I'm going to save this thing, file, save management. Uh, because I changed the name, that, that's what you see there. Save as. In that folder, which I've already saved W1P1. And say okay. From now on, every time you click on the floppy, that file is going to get uh, saved and update, updated and saved. Okay. So the strategy for solving this problem is as follows. This is the way I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. First, I draw the space. The base has that radius or that diameter is actually 64. You can see that. And this diameter is 42. And these two centers are 100 millimeters away. Let's change our units first. So we go to tools, options, on the parameters and measures right there, select the unit, units tab. Right now it's in inches. I'm going to change it to millimeters. Right there. Good. So now <clears throat> on that horizontal plane, I will sketch what I just told you. In other words, uh, and there are different ways of doing it. One is, for example, you can go and say, uh, let me, let me, uh, sure, do it like this. Let me dimension this to be, uh, uh, remember from a center to center, it was 100 millimeters. So let me dimension this to find out exactly what it is right now from here to here. Okay, this is 110. I want this thing to be 50 millimeters. Good. And that radius, that diameter to be 64, right? 64. Okay, good. And the other fellow, the other circle is on this side. Uh, okay. And that dimension from here to here is should be 50. All right. And the, the diameter of that should be 42. Okay. So basically, I'm looking at these dimension. This diameter is 42. This diameter is 60, right? And the distance from the center to center is 100. Okay. All right. Now, uh, for example, one way of uh, uh, doing this is uh, if you want to do the base first. So, for example, what I can do is uh, draw a line from uh, here to here and make a tangent, right? I want this thing to be tangent to that. And I think it is. Already you can see that. And this thing, control, what is that? Uh, control that circle to be tangent to each other. Click on this, tangency, and then you say OK. And you can mirror this thing with respect to that horizontal line. Mirror this with respect to that. And then we do a, qu a quick trim. One thing is not obvious is, are these holes going to go through? Let's uh, all the way through. Let's pretend that they're going to go all the way through, but we worry about that later on, okay? So uh, uh, let's go back here. Uh, my favorite way of doing things like this is with quick trim. Quick trim relimitation, see that? This is called, this is trim. This is quick trim. You click on this, you click, get rid of that, and you get rid of this, all right? If I assume that uh, these things are going all the way through, uh, one way to do that is uh, actually let's leave it the way it is, no problem. So let's uh, move on.
Hey, I just noticed something that uh, after I mirrored this thing, these tangencies are not reflected here, but I'm sure it's okay. I mean, if you, ins if you insist, you can select this and that and make a tangent to each other. But it's not going to make any difference because I uh, because of the way they're, they're they're tangent on the top. Okay, now let's uh, uh, let's uh, exit. Uh, where is that exit? Exit, and then uh, basically this is what we've got here on the side. If you look at it, so we're going to pad it up by twelve millimeters. So we're going to pad this up by twelve millimeters. All right, so what you see there is uh, this. All right. Now, uh, for example, I can go and uh, draw a circle here and then pad it up by uh, another uh, 24. Okay, let's do that. On that plane, I will sketch. Uh, <clears throat> let's say another circle there. Make sure, make sure that these are concentric. This control, that, make it concentric. Okay. And uh, the radius is the diameter is the same as the same as that guy, which was sixty four. So uh, mention this diameter sixty four. All right, and then inside there is a circle. Well, actually, let me let me exit this and pad it up by twenty four. Pad it up by twenty four. Okay, let's draw that hole inside. What's the radius of that hole? The radius or diameter of that hole is eighteen. Diameter is thirty six. So on that plane, I will sketch a circle here. I'm mean, going to make it uh, concentric. I think this, you know, likelihood these are concentric, but if you're not sure, that control this concentric. Well, I shifted a little bit. Yep. Exit and make a pocket all the way through. All the way through to the last. So what you see there is uh, basically this. So this this was supposed to be thirty six and this is sixty four, right? Somehow I don't think I'm pretty sure this this was sixty four. But what was that? Let's try it again. Uh, this is a diameter th diameter thirty six. Is that what it is? <coughs> well, let's actually measure these things. So measure this is ah radius. Okay, that diameter. That's not correct diameter. So cancel that. Let's go to that sketch. I did not even dimension it. That's why it doesn't look right. So uh, that guy, diameter 36. It's going to look a lot better now. Exit. Yeah, now it's more like what we have in there. Okay. Now, on the other side, we have a circle of diameter 24 so uh on that plane you sketch circle uh i can make diameter uh whatever I, whatever i want i can make that diameter to be 42 Outer diameter 42, or I can make these two concentric with each other. Let me do that. This control that, make them concentric, which automatically forces, uh, sorry, uh, coincident. Yeah. Which automatically makes that diameter whatever we want. You say, okay. And uh, why don't we pad that? Exit. Let's check something here, padded by, uh, this is 12 and this is 24, so that's 12, 12, pad by 12. Uh, uh, pad this by 12. Up. Good, so that's this. 
Uh, now we're going to have an inside circle of radius 12 or diameter 24. So on that plane, I will sketch the circle. I'm pretty sure these are concentric. Let's, let's make sure. So that guy control this to be concentric with each other. Okay, and the actual size is 24. Diameter 24. Okay, exit. And then pocket it all the way to the end. Pocket to the last, which is okay. <clears throat> so what we've got now, which something looks like this. Okay. Now I have to fill in, uh, first of all, a couple of things. Let's, let's, let's go actually and take care of that piece first. So there is a rectangle here, which is width of 12 and 12 by 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. On that plane, we'll sketch. We make a centered rectangle. So I want, let me see, for example, what that means is that the, this is 12, okay, so let's make that thing 12 first. What diameter? This is 12. No problem there. Okay. Now, what we want is this width. The only problem is that there is kind of an ambiguity here. Um, it's not quite clear what, where that thing is. I, mean, I can make it look like that because, uh, uh, I suppose what it means is that the distance, the distance from this point to the end, okay, so let's do it like this. That point control, yeah, control this to be coincident with each other. Okay, very good. And that that dimension to be four. You know, difficult to have an idea what they, they're looking for, but there we are. I'm pretty sure that's what they, they have in mind. So exit, pocket all the way through, last. So what you see there, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle, it's going to be something like that. Let me turn this thing around so you can see it better, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what they have in mind. Okay, now the only thing that's left to do is to, to do these pieces. Okay. Now, uh, getting that middle piece added, is not as straightforward as you might think, but here's an approximate way of doing this. So on that vertical plane, I will sketch. I'll sketch a, a line, and the line is, uh, I try to do it so that it uh, goes from that top to top of this somewhere, okay? If I may have to adjust these, by the way, okay? We'll, we'll see that. Exit. And then I use this feature, which is in the sketch-based uh, features, where you see the pad and, uh, and you know, pocket, etc. Over here, there's a bunch of sub, uh, sub uh, uh, icons. One of them is called stiffener. You click on it, and notice that I can create something called a stiffener here. And of course, there's a limit on how far you can uh, make this thing how, how thick you can make it depending on those points but let's see if we can go to up to 12. yep and then we say okay and there we are now it's not the perfect solution because you see that there is some <clears throat> there are gaps here which is not supposed to be there and that depends on the location of those two endpoints so, uh, for example, if you uh, if you can uh, if you go and make this thing, uh, let's go to that stiffener here, and uh, uh, if if you make this thing smaller, say six or whatever, 
See those gaps? Do cool. So this is an approximate solution. Okay, not the not the only one, not the best one. And to get to get it perhaps exactly like what may be intended, you need to use surfaces and closed surfaces and things like that. So you are not doing it in this particular uh, uh, lab. Okay. All right, folks. Good luck. By the way, don't forget to save your work. That's critical on the uh, on the on the exam day. You have to make sure everything is safe. And uh, uh, yeah, here if you let me, let me put this thing back to twelve, it looks nicer. That is almost this, not quite, because of that stiffener solution that I presented to you is only an approximate uh, approximate thing. <clears throat> All right. Good luck.